house is in the house. We in the building. <laughs> Are you ever like trying to go viral? No, when I wake up in the morning and I hit a blunt, I just know it's a viral day. <laughs> Would you say you're a businessman or a business man? Man, you know. I was told you have 200 cars. My guy who keep up with my cars told me that too. No. <laughs> Jorge Masvidal. Who is he's that? Like, he's a UFC fighter. He's always claimed to be the king of Miami. And what's his name? Jorge. <laughs> Shout out to George, man. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>I think I'm Big Meech, Larry Hoover. Don't, don't, don't. Whipping work. No, please don't. Hallelujah. Don't. One nation. Stop. One nation. Stop. Under God. Okay, real, real hustle, getting money real. start. <laughs> From the beginning. Well, uh, uh, do you, are you a headphone guy? You don't have to. I ain't tripping. Okay, okay. I don't okay. need it, I won't even do it. Okay, okay. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to make sure sometimes start the podcast that that's, that's in front of you. Can, actually... Just we, let me know. Just keep me keep me posted. Okay. All right. All right. Dylan, maybe maybe pull this forward a little bit. Which? This no, this mic, mic so it doesn't have yeah, to come over his shoulder. Yeah, of so this is actually the first podcast that we've done. Ever done. Ever. And, yeah. and, and you're our debut guest. Oh, that's big. Yeah, Rick yeah, yeah. Ross. It's number one already. God damn, Rick Ross is in the house. We in the building. <laughs> that's fantastic. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. We are in Miami today with Rick Ross. It's a beautiful day. We are honored to have you. Um, huge fans, man, for, for a while. It's all good, man. I'm happy to be here. Much love. Y'all been hustling. I see you jumping off ring ropes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Doing everything you got to do. Yeah, man. Yeah. We can't stop. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Rick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was two days ago. I was flying through the air, landing on full grown. What'd that feel like? It hurts, dude. It hurts. Because, you know, I came from YouTube, right? And then I started WWE. And, you know, I wasn't sure what to expect. And all of a sudden, I'm finding out this stuff really is painful. Like, it's really painful. The mat isn't bouncy. It's not like... <laughs> you think it's a trampoline, right? Nah, no. I, I can already imagine. But look, what's the best advice Hulk Hogan gave you? I haven't spoken to him yet. Nah. I know. I know. You wasn't a hoaxer. I, I am, but I haven't I haven't personally spoken to him. Oh man, you gotta reach out to the home. I know. I, we were supposed to link up actually two days ago, but I was just in the zone before my before my match. I just wanted to focus. It's hard, man. We gotta get you in there, Rick. Running I'm ropes. Keep, I'm gonna keep it real. I do a lot of things, but I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Rick no. Ross is just frogs no, man, I couldn't do it. Hey, yeah, what did what, it. what did you give us? This is this is great. This, yeah, this is rum. This is the best rum. Bamboo. This is Bamboo Rum. Is it your brand? Oh, uh, man, this is a brand I really rock with. You oh, know what amazing, man? bro. They they came in and they started putting down all, the, all these brands, this yeah, yeah, poster, yeah. everything. I'm oh, like, man. I mean, you, are, you have expanded man, beyond we, music. You already know. We, we got to. Yeah. That's the only way we know how to move. Would you say you're a businessman or a business man? Man, <laughs> you know, you know the way Hove did that, that was, that was a one of one. You know what I mean? But um, we all purpose. We gonna make it happen. You get money everywhere. I was I, I was talking to the team before we started. And, I, no, uh, when I walked up, I was like, "Why me and Prime ain't doing nothing? I got some ideas for." <laughs> I asked the same yeah, question. Yeah, I got, I got some time. ideas for Prime. So, Prime. Hey, you're right. You're right, dude. This is this is delicious. I'm I I don't like rum. This is amazing. Oh no, this is most definitely very smooth. There's nothing hard about it. You know what I mean? Wow, it's, it's, like, it's like a little sweet, it's like honey in it or something. It's kind of, it kind of feel like cinnamon, honey kind of vibe. So good, dude. Yeah. It makes me very happy when I see um, people who are so good at one thing and known for one thing. You're obviously like known primarily for your music. When I see them expand successfully into other um, verticals, because it means, you know, you have leveraged your position to, to expand the success. You really are hustling every day, Rick. We really are, we really <laughs> are, you know what I'm saying? And I said that, I said something about that on my story, either this morning or yesterday, just saying the instincts that I apply in my music, I may not use those same instincts when it come to other business ventures. Mm -mm. You know, we follow the same heart, we follow the same hustle, but sometimes things are different and you just gotta, just master whatever it is you're doing. Take a few losses that come with the game. As well, long as you finish on top, that's the only thing that counts. Is it common knowledge that you mow your own lawn? I think everybody in Fayetteville, they kind of know, you know what I'm saying? 
when the when the weather's right and they see that big tractor out there. You are oh, you mowing, got the tractor. You're mowing your yeah, lawn. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. a John Deere or something the, like that? One time for John Deere. Wow. 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 Yeah, I got I got the one with the radio, the AC in it. I tinted the windows. <laughs> no oh, way, you got man. a full on like cabin tractor? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I jump in one of those, no shirt. Cause yeah, cause your property <laughs> chain on. your property's massive, right? Without a doubt. How many acres you mowing? Man, I'm not even sure now. <laughs> I believe close to 400. Oh, so many acres. But no, you know, when I go out and mow the yarn, I, I, the mow the lawn, I had a homies with me too. So we got a bunch of other smaller tractors. So when they see the big one out, they know that's the boss. Dude, that's the friendship I aspire to have. No, that's like, a friendship. All your homies on the weekend, like, yo, what y'all Yeah, let's cut the grass. The grass. No, that's some, of the, that's some of the coolest shit ever. It's some of the coolest shit ever. On lunch break and we all looking at each other, dirty and shit, dusty. <laughs> It's like, yo, we got a real bond. Oh, man. Uh, that's cool as shit, dude. I, we got to start doing that, guys. Then we got to go to Wingstop. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Always Wing, You got into Wingstop at kind of like a great time for chicken. It's crazy to say, but chicken's kind of having like its heyday right now. Oh, man. Like Without you look at, I I don't want to say the other brand. I'm not going to say the other brand because that would be the You could say the other brand. All right, Dave's Hot right now is like one of the, you know, highest, like fastest growing restaurants in the world. Actually, sorry, is yeah. the fastest growing restaurant on the planet right now. At least, and, at least as it pertains to fast casual. Everywhere. Is it? Everywhere. Is it Miami? I don't think it's in Miami because I don't think the king of Miami would allow that, bro. No, no. All we got to do is sit down and have a conversation. <laughs> oh, so you yeah, go. we can work No, you that can't out. do competing. Like, no, he ain't going to do a deal with Gatorade. You, you never know. You never know. Yeah, it's true. Sometimes you do things behind doors. Sometimes you don't discuss everything on the platforms. Yeah, yeah. He's right, Mikey. Business is business. That is true. You know? Am I about to be fired? Why are you looking at me like that while saying that? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you're, uh, you're not pulling your weight, is what I meant to tell you. <laughs> that was a good time to tell you. Uh, Rick, would you describe your voice as gruff? Uh, um, It's big business. Yeah. It's big business. For it's sure. big money. For sure. You know what I mean? When it's time for me to turn up and drop some weight, I could drop some. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but other than that, I like, I like, I like, I love clarity. I love for it to be smooth in certain times. And then sometimes you just gotta, you know, you gotta get a little nasty. I'm, I'm sure it's like that in the ring. You know, they tell you to keep it, you know, above the waist, but sometimes you just gotta yeah. make sure they, you know, some days are BMF, some days are Aston, you know, Martin music. Yeah, it might some be days diced be pineapple. Sweet. That's right. Some days it might just be sliced pear, you know? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you I know? have to <laughs> ask about <laughs> pears. Yeah, <man. laughs> Today, what's your relationship like with pears? I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I haven't eaten as much pear, you know what I mean? Is that as, as, I, as I would like to. Yeah, yeah, that was that was the way I put it. You know what I mean? Why do you like pears so much? Man, I love them. I love green pears. The soft ones when you bite into them, so good. the juice runs into my beard. So good. How does that sound, Christine? <laughs> Is that your, yeah, that's, your girl? That's, yeah, that's my love. Right oh, there. amazing! You brought her. Hi. Oh, yo, you came to the. Uh, Karate Combat event the other night. I did. Because I host that league. Yeah. I turned around, I saw you, and yeah. you were up on a throne. Yeah. And I swear to God, like, I mean this in the best way. I thought you were with uh, Tiana Taylor for a second because you got that same type of vibe. Like, See, that's this is what I was saying no, at the beginning no, of the podcast. No, no, no. no, that's a compliment, though, yeah, right? No, no, no most so, the short hair. No, Tiana, no, not everything's no, racist. No, no. It no, was Tiana, about a beard. It was about a hair, bro. Tiana is most definitely a mega star. I'm saying and that's. And so, so, most definitely, that's a compliment. That's what I'm saying. But, you know, even when you you know you look back and you know you see that you see that vibe. Yeah. Are you ever like trying to go viral, or are you just being yourself and 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 things pop off and catch? Like when you I, we're talking. No, about when I wake up in the morning and I hit a blunt, I just know it's a viral day. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna say that's gonna go viralization? <laughs> we don't know yet, yeah. but it's a viral day. So let's put on a cool T-shirt. Let's light the joint up. Let's post some Luke Bella and we finna go viral. It's easy. Dude, your energy's fucking awesome. Like, are you ever sad? I feel like you're just radiating positivity at all times. Sad? I wouldn't <laughs> use that word. I would never use sad. Like, like bad days? Rose don't get sad. Is it rough days or do I have days that don't go the way I would want them to do? Of course. But when you're a boss, it's like, how do we fix it now? Mm. Fuck it. We woke up some... 
with some whole shit going on, but how do we fix it? So you're not complaining? Nah. Shit. I nah, love, I love, not, I love to complain. I love to complain. No, nah, we not pulling <laughs> off in a car. We not speeding off. Fuck, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You we don't, don't do that ever, nah, bro. Just for I, fun. I'm going to just be honest. Nah. It's like if there's some shit going on, I'll just say a few bad words to it. <laughs> Pussy motherfuckers got me <laughs> fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And then I, you know, you light the joint back up and we back. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like it's fixed. But nothing physical? Like you don't ever like shoot a pillow or something like that? Nah. Like punch a- <laughs> Shoot a pillow? Nah. No, 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 I, no, I, I, lo I love my pillows. I love my pillows. She makes sure the pillows don't, don't get, get between us can, at Can night. I ask an honest question? Is there ever pillow disputes? Every night, I knew it. This is this has to be a thing in relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have my pillow disputes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We fight over the pillow. Yeah, it, it's something about this real small pillow I got. It's like it fit yeah. right in the cuff of my <laughs> arm. She be hating on it though. For sure. Yeah, yeah. What's what's your arrangement? Just uh, one on the head, one on, under the arm. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. One in the head, and then I cuff her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah. But see, if I it's... have I have a leg pillow as well. Keep that spine kind of aligned. Like my legs together, I don't know. I mean, if you done been suplex 800 times, I'm sure you need that alignment. Can I ask the rich people a question for a sec? Why not? If you got all this <clears throat> money, both of y'all, why don't you just buy more pillows? You know what I'm saying? Just buy more, have more yeah. pillows. You know I'm what I'm a, saying? I'm gonna be like, honest. I don't. I, I've <laughs> never really heard of no no one really pillow shopping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't really they see you just saying, yo, I'm going Rick. to look for a thigh pillow yeah. or whatever <laughs> that's, it is. That's mean. why. Rick, they got yeah. pillow sommeliers for that type of shit. What's, they, the, la what's the last word? <laughs> sommeliers, like a wine sommelier where they bring all the wine out. They got that for pillows. Yeah. You go to you know Bed Bath & I never Beyond. heard that word, though. That was cool. You never had a, a person bring a decanter out for a nice bottle of red, you and your girl, it's Valentine's Day. They pull, But that, that wasn't a, that a, a sommelier. Sommelier. I was, uh, maybe I was whatever thinking that of Somalians. Yeah. I don't know. So, Are you the king of Miami, dude? Like, honestly, dude, Jorge Masvidal said you're not. It's the biggest. <sighs> It's the biggest. He didn't, he didn't say that. But the beautiful thing about it is, um, it's so much money out here in Miami. Shmoney. It's a lot. How many times you done live on Sunday? Um, <laughs> do you have too the many. record? <laughs> nah, I done broke the record. Dave Grutman will let you know. Yeah. Travel. We do a lot of business together. But the beautiful thing about Miami is, it's enough yachts for everyone. Mm. You know? But it's, they, not many, it's not many mansions on Star Island. You got to a select few of those, but it's a lot of money out here. So it's, it's a lot of heavyweights. But in, and if you, who you said you spoke to that said it? Oh, oh, Jorge Masvidal. Who is he's that? He's like, he's a, he's a UFC fighter, a big dog. And he, he's always claimed to be the king of Miami. Oh, and what's his name? Jorge. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Damn. oh man, yeah. this is crazy, bro. <laughs> Shout out to George, man. You know what I'm <laughs> Shout out to George. Hey, hey, can I have some more? Yeah, 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 that's, George. <laughs> that's George. Anybody that know I'm calling him George now. <laughs> say Rose, say your name, George. <laughs> Yo, you probably you didn't see that knockout versus Ben Askren, bro. This is quick. Is, quick. Uh -huh. is quick. Ben Askren. Do you remember that UFC fight where that guy the, the, the fight started and the dude just ran out and, and flying need the dude right at the the first beginning of the fight. I may have seen it. I may have. He's yeah. got the, he's got the quickest knockout in UFC history. Yeah. Was it? He, yeah, he's he's cool. And by the way, I have to I have to argue that he's the king of Miami. If if my, Bro, I, as an unbiased it, it's and not, I, it's I love not, George. It's not an argument. No, I I, <laughs> no, no, I love George. I love George. He's no, it's not, great. I mean if he did a knee, congratulations. <laughs> I mean you did the knee. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to George, he did the deal. Yo, yo, you know what I'm not, we ain't no, no, doing no, this no, masculine no, no, slander, no, 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 bro. Shout out to George, man. I can't man. slander George. I heard yo, you, did the, you did the knee, you jumped from the free throw with the knee. He oh, did, he did, he really did. Come on, he he's did. one of the great. Uh, he's cool, you guys, you, guys, you guys would kick it. But uh, there can only be one king of Miami, and I feel like that's a title a lot of people like to yeah. bless themselves Yeah, with. who, I mean, Grutman would probably claim, but he wouldn't claim it, but he's, can he's I, definitely good at tennis. Can I have some more? Of course. It's It's delicious, man. My my girl claims to be the king of Miami a lot of times. Dude, to be honest with you, your girl, your girl? yes, yeah, Sarah, sweet Sarah Lee. Mm -hmm. You grew you grew up here, right? Yeah. And you had a pretty you had a pretty wild life here in Miami. You've been through Car City, pretty cool. I love it. Car City, Miami. Thank you, boss. Right in the heart of Miami. Hey, hey, hey! 
Roses are red, violets are blue. Trim your guys and your day will thank us too. Valentine's Day is knocking and Manscaped is the remedy for what the love doctor ordered. His prescription, the all new Performance Package 5.0 Ultra designed to elevate your grooming game and shine like the heartthrob you are. Wink face. <laughs> Join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com to snag 20% off plus free shipping with the code LOGAN. But let's talk about the hero, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Mow your lawn. Like Rick Ross. This electric trimmer features skin safe technology, guarding your V Day treasure against any grooming mishaps. It's waterproof, and for a happy ending, there's the Manscaped Refine Cologne. It's the Valentine's Day touch to your grooming routine. Elevate your grooming routine and set the stage for a romantically smooth celebration. Again, that's 20% off and free shipping if you use the code Logan at manscaped.com because your grooming upgrade awaits. Ready to charm your Valentine's dates. Back to the show. You do very clearly think different you you move different uh you, you're not really playing the same game as a lot of your peers i feel like but uh you obviously have this innate talent like you were you were born with this ability to 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 think and especially just your voice you know when did you realize like oh i have i have a thing i i i i, I sound good on on tracks mm. You really don't know how good you sound till you get a certain reaction from the streets. Mm. You know, you could sit up in the room. I was sitting up in the room. By the time I was in the eighth grade, I felt I was gifted when it came to writing records. Uh -huh. I knew how to structure songs, write a chorus, uh -huh. write a verse. But how good is it? You don't know yet until you get a certain reaction. Mm. You run up to artists, you see artists all the time. Yo, I got a hit record. How do you know that's a hit record mm. until it's a hit record? But you know you sound good. Like like people oh, that no, have this I, that I have this talent. I understood. Is, I had a vibe. Yeah. I began writing for other artists. Uh, you know, before I ever you know blew. But you don't really know how far you could take it until you get a reaction. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in yourself? Yeah, you could believe in yourself as much as you want to. But the reality of it is, is how big am I going to get? You got to body slam that first oh, motherfucker. Yeah. You, you got to DDT a motherfucker yeah. and, <laughs> and get you their did. reaction. Yeah, yeah, you did with hustling for yeah. sure. And, for and sure. where are you getting the reaction from? Because you got it in a way that a lot of rappers want to get it. Like you look at people from the past like Jada, who got a ton of love from the streets, but never really had that commercial success. And then you look at people like Drake, who got commercial success, but people will say that a lot of people on the, on the block aren't listening to him. You had both. You had people, you had you had hit records, you had the streets fucking with you in Miami, New York. I'm from the East Coast, you had people in LA listening to you, like everybody was listening to your shit. Did that like, did having the both the street respect and the commercial support kind of like really give you the the desire to like keep to keep going? You gotta realize when you <laughs> when you make music for 10 years without a reaction, it don't have nothing to do with the the streets and the acceptance no more. You doing that out of your passion. Mm -hmm. That's your love. Mm -hmm. Um, and because of the time I put in, that's what made me the type of artist that could get responses from both sides. So I believe that come with that grind that I had to go through. Seen a lot of niggas come up two years later, boom, big records. Five years later, you you didn't even remember them. You know what I mean? So everybody's story a little different. Mine most definitely the biggest. Well, that's the hardest part about what you do in just the media industry in general is just staying relevant. Like that's that's the most impressive thing to me. The fact Watch that you've been able to, yeah, be relevant and popping for this long is is insane, man. I remember watching Django, Django Unchained. Yeah, yeah. What, 2012 or whatever year that mm -hmm. was? And uh, and, and 100, 100 Black Coffins come on and, and me and my boys go crazy. We're like, damn, you know, Rick Ross, he has infiltrated Hollywood now. Holy shit. Did Quentin Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino approach you for that for that film? I was on the set of the film. I was on the just, set. Of just the hanging film. out. I was on the set one time for Jamie Foxx. That's who. That's Jamie Foxx's business partner right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bri yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Breon. Shout out Breon. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Breon Prescott. So <laughs> yes, sir. it was one of them things. So any movie set, Jamie on Roselle, pull up, and most definitely Quentin Tarantino. That was you know still is my favorite director of all time. So anything he was working on. So I was on the movie set. So during the shootout and shit, I started rapping right then. No fucking way. Yeah, honey, black coffin. I saw motherfuckers dying. I said, huh, honey, black coffins. <laughs> and that was just No the way. Just, so, wait, so then did, did Quentin say, I like that? Can you cut me a record? Don't stop. No fucking way. And I said, it's too easy. 
That's insane. <laughs> Give me the email. Insane. Oh, man, minutes. he's so good. There's something about art that is so... The spontaneity of it can make it so fucking beautiful. Like, the fact that you're just on set. And he was able to incorporate uh, a modern-day hip-hop hip -hop record with, uh, you know, an old Western. A violent old Western was so cool, man. And the fact Rosé could put it together like that. No, it's insane. That's what made it even, you know what I mean? On the spot. <laughs> right there. It was too easy. Bruh. The what, confidence. What, what, what has been hard? Has there ever been a record where you, you maybe you sent over your verse to someone and they, they responded like, ah, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe this No, could... that, that happened with me and Kanye. Yeah, that happened with me and Kanye in the studio with Kanye. And I, I don't even think it was more about my verse not being dope. It may have been just how fast I wrote it. Mm. Was know? that on Live Fast? On hmm? Live Fast, Die Young? No, not Live Fast, Die Young. That was actually Devil in the Oh, oh Blue yeah. Dress. Oh, my God. That song. So what, so what happened? Kanye greatest. Kanye said. Yeah, we was in the studio. They played the, you know, we going through beats, vibes. And um, we decided this was a, the record we going to work on next. Cool, it's too easy. I took the beat, went in another room, wrote it, laid it, came back. Um, it may have been 30 minutes later. I played it. I know it was fire. And he looked at me like, damn. Rose, I want you to dig deeper. <laughs> damn, <laughs> damn. Oh, okay. That's what we doing. Cool, I went back in. Next time I came back, undeniable. Okay. Because it was Kanye, is that the reason you didn't tell him to go fuck himself? Like what if what if what if someone else I'm not else... gonna say that. I'm not <laughs> gonna say that. Let's say if I was in a room with a much smaller uh, mm. much smaller artist than myself, and if I believe if he genuinely came to me and said, Rose, I know you could do better. I may have gave the nigga a look like, but is this a sincere challenge to the bezel, AKA ravioli? It's too easy then. And I may have went back in and smoked them. Really? Yeah. Made a classic. If, I mean, if it was genuine, you know, you know, if you really feel like this not gonna help the situation, that's what I'm here for. And it's not hard at all. Well, I mean, your industry, I mean, you know this, man. It's just like any, 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 any industry with a bunch of successful people in it. Egos running rampant. Rampant. And you're an artist. And that's fine. It's the difference between an ego, uh, 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 ego and, you know, niggas who really, are you really about business? Is this about your ego? <clears throat> or is this about us making history? Mm. Do you think Kanye was right? He was right. Uh, uh. Because what we came up with was magic. Looking at my bitch, I bet you, you know, it's a bone. Mm. Looking at my wrist, it'll turn your ass to stone. Mm. You know I mean? Yeah. Do you have a creative process or you you feel like you kind of got touched by God a little bit when it comes in? Without, comes. without a doubt, it was a gift by God. But when I smoked that uh, high tolerance, and I sip the finest bubbles. The combination is deadly. It's not so exquisite. It's, sauce, it's so sauce. exquisite. <laughs> the finest bubbles. <laughs> man, that's awesome, man. Is your is your relationship with weed a healthy one? Very. What's it like? Are you oh, smoking man. 24 it's hours? It's love. It's love. It's success. When the music come on and I'm hot and I'm in the right zone, I see the music in colors. The beat is blue, it's mm. red, it's yellow. Mm. I hear the wind and the leaves blowing behind me because of the weed. And you're just flowing. Oh, without a doubt, it's too easy. Some some true artist shit. I I I think I have a I think I'm a I have a weed problem a little bit. So I have to really like monitor my relationship with it. That's why I ask. Everyone has a different relationship. Why you think it's a problem? I mean, I don't, fucking WWE. Yeah, but no, but I'm not smoking weed at the moment. I, I, I enjoy marijuana. And I mean, if you can't say it on camera, that's cool, but 
Nah, I can do whatever. Yeah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Thing, dude, man. I love weed. I love weed. It's it's, it's, it's true, thing. but I also know that if I smoke too much of it, I don't become productive like you. Like uh, for for a little bit, yeah, my my creativity especially will spike, but then I then I'll start smoking in the day versus just at night, which is kind of my comfort zone. And I smoke weed to to turn off my brain. I'm 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 going crazy in there at all times and it's nice to just shut off. I want to relax mm. and just be super present cuz I'm often not very present. I'm thinking 1 2 3 4 5 years ahead. And that's a Ain't long Ain't nothing wrong with that. I know, but I sometimes I want to shut off so so I so I use weed as a kind of a vehicle to to get me to relax and I, then I start getting too comfortable with that feeling of and then you have a manic Nothing episode. Is. And then you have then I, then I, then I will to have a, your friends. I, then Instead I, of mowing the grass dude, with them, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you should like, come to the promised land and mow the grass. That's what I'm saying, bro. You should. Why not? Yeah. I got to I gotta start, I gotta start mowing the grass. Man, mow the grass. I got, I got no lawn. I got no real like lawn in Puerto Rico. And that disappoints me. <clears> I don't have a lawn. You get a smaller mower. Just don't get the big tractor. Get like the one that you push that has the spinning blade. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. It just spins around. Yeah. Nah, it's got man, the blade get, on it. You gotta watch him. You gotta watch him. <laughs> get the one with the AC and the yeah, radio, yeah, 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 man. yeah. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. No, but his lawn is only. It's I, all, I have no lawn. It's, not, I have it's no. the size of this carpet, bro. You, you wouldn't even be able to park the tractor on it. And no, that's, in Puerto Rico, that's a beautiful spot. You could get you some nice property. I, I know. Rico. I just in that. Well, it disappoints me, man. I have no lawn. Well, you'll have some soon. Well, a few more suplexes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, nobody in that neighborhood really has a lawn. It's kind of like a lawnless neighborhood. It's, it's a bit lawnless. Are you following any combat sports? I know you went to karate combat. I we went to karate combat the other night. You know, I love I love to see all the shit. Right now, the shit that's coming up a lot on my page is the, the slap contest. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Would you that's ever do insane. That? Of course not. Dumb it's insane. It's so dumb. You like it? You I'll like it? Hey, put put the yeah. put the mic to you. Put the mic to you. Do you. Rick, do you know who this is? No. Guess. George. I'm George. What's happening, George? Jorge. No, no, I'm that's actually, not that's that's I'm not Jorge. No, he's yeah, yeah, no, yeah, not. I'm, he's I'm Logan's dad. Okay. That's my father. <laughs> Great rum. It's crazy, Great. right? Oh, it's so good. It's insane it's how good that yeah. is. It's smooth. It's, I'd call it dangerous a little bit. It's, yeah, it's, I, no, it's smooth, man. It's, uh, I mean, I can see that in my coffee in the morning. Oh, man. You know? <laughs> I put that in there with my Captain I'm, Crunch. I might have to try that. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, with yeah. that coffee. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, so what are you saying, GP? So the, the slap contest, that's the dumbest thing in the world. You, you're going to stand there and let somebody hit you, and then if they drop you, you don't get a chance to get up. And no, you do. You get 10 seconds. No, you smoke. You got, yeah, you got to get up after 10 seconds. But yeah, I'll tough. drop anybody. If you're going to stand there and let me hit you open-handed, I will fucking drop anybody. I but they guarantee, I guarantee yeah. Dana White will hire you to slap people. I'll if do you're, it. If you're about it, I can I, get you a job. I'm going to keep it real. My ratio has been pretty solid out yeah. here, too. Thing is, though, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't... I don't yeah. want to stand I'm there. Honest. I don't want to get yeah, it back. I'm totally though, honest. Oh, you just want to be able to smack. You don't want to get. No, I'm not going to stand there and let you hit me. Screw that. <laughs> well, that's that. that's half the battle, Greg. No, 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 no. All bark, all bark, no. Hit bark. him right. You're, it's easy to drop. So him. you got to then you got to swing first. Yeah. You got to drop him first, and then you won't have. They won't get to hit you back. Right. I'm good with that. Yeah. Let me go first. I'm going to drop him. Then. So okay. We're then the contest is over. We're going to get you this contract. Okay. So yeah, that's that's my dad, Appreciate man. Real, real, real salt of the earth kind of guy. Chops his own wood, mows his own lawn. That's what I'm talking with, about. With yeah. a pair of scissors, he's really about that manual labor life. <laughs> Precise. <laughs> are you are you close with your dad? Oh uh, man, rest in peace, man. Oh, so rest in peace. Yeah, it. most definitely. That's a real. He was Who a real G. PDFs, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Mom. That's my baby. We was out at dinner last night. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. We celebrated my birthday last night. Kiki on the river. Oh, oh. you were there? Damn. Okay. Let's ask That's how. <laughs> yes, yes. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe it was. It was his fault. No, because I don't want to throw nah, him under the nah, bus. No, I'll do it then. I'll just say this. I, I'll say this. We can bleep it. My my boy Johnny Manziel was supposed to do this show today. Johnny Football. Before you. I seen him last night. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> I know you did. Guess who didn't show up to do the fucking show? Because he told me. He's like, yo, I'm going to go to Kiki for a little bit. I said. Johnny, 
Don't, I don't, are you sure that's a good idea? We got a 12 o'clock. I'm good, he said, and then I'm just going to go see Travit live for a few minutes. I said, Johnny, Johnny, <laughs> Johnny, don't do that, bro. Call me at nine in the morning like, hey, man, bad news. I'm going to bed. He goes, I ended up meeting up with Rick last night. I'm like, Rick who? Oh, Rick Ross. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, my God, That's bro. crazy, but no, but Rick showed up. So what it's happened? too easy. But what happened? You, but you know when to cut it off, when to go home. It's too easy. It's too easy for think... a boss, man. Maybe sometimes this is what we do. Yes, it's yes, 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 yes. That's what it is. Once you once you decide what it is, what the goals are, you know, and once you determine, you stick to the script. Let's do it. Did okay. you go to li Did you go to live too? Of course not. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what <is> you? <laughs> you, you don't fuck with, yeah. with Trav? No, nah, I shut it down last night. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I shut it down last night just so I could be on point this week. You know, yeah, yeah. last yesterday was my birthday. This, oh, shit. so shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much cool. love. Cool. Much love. Cool. Yeah, so tonight, you know, this whole week we're gonna be doing our thing. So we're gonna be moving tonight. We're going to the Heat game, and uh, Friday we're gonna end up at uh, Live. Performing? You, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have a good time at Live. You stay busy, man. Why not, man? You That's uh, what we love to do. You you perform and how much of it is work and how much of it is just I love doing this. I love entertaining people. That depends on the vibe of the, the venue. Uh, if I walk into the venue and it's got that rose feeling. Oh man, you know, it's a certain feeling that yeah. I get where I, I would have done this for free. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then there's certain spots you go to where, you know, it's just the connection may not be there. You know, that's far and in between, but it's just some spots where you just like, yo, let's stick and move. So I've seen this happen to DJ Khaled a couple of times where he, <laughs> he'll he go to perform and like no one's there or like vibing with him. I think some, I saw that clip. <laughs> and I think I think some of it was like an audio problem with the with the audience you couldn't hear them. But I did see that clip. So uh, but it has to happen. Like, what if you go to a venue where like you're just I don't know. It's not your crowd. You know, you, you're you're solely there to get paid. But the, I don't know. They're not they're not Who's vibing not with Rick you. Ross crowd. The public library. Dude, like, I what? don't know. I don't. It has it happened where you show up and you're like, shit, I'm not I'm not connecting with these people at the moment. And the, how do, in your head do you get over that? Most definitely, if I come on stage, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But um, when I come out to, I'm a boss. I come out to pop that. It's, I come out to BMF. Yeah, it's, every, it's, it's, it's very few spots you go to where yeah. they not gonna rock with you. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? For of sure. course, I, I've been to places where I wish the crowd was, you know, much bigger, but that ain't what we here for. You know what I'm saying? I done been paid to come in, perform in fucking huge, companies where they only had 50 people there and they yeah. just because they just wanted to all shake your hand and you do a few songs but can we all get one picture like type shit yeah you know? yeah well it wasn't about the crowd it was just about the connection so whatever it is i'm gonna go enjoy this shit Let's another go. great venue in miami <clears throat> is uh 11 nightclub i love 11. yeah i think i saw you perform there one time without like, a like doubt performing there without a doubt yeah that's they they gave us this house to do the show today 11 is is the spot Mark roberts no 11 nope i 11, made all that up 11 is, that, is the spot mike, Sim, well, mike roberts simkins owns 11. Mike, mike, mark well, roberts is mike mike, mark roberts mike, is mike, mike, simkins. mike simkins they're the same per same, they're same, it's a, same person one human a hybrid, hybrid, one hybrid person, person got y'all debating that name that was dope right there or hey masvidal yeah <laughs> George. George. George, what it do? Look, look, I, I wanted to ask you something uh, because you, you're a person who has, who has lived a lot of life and with a lot of life comes a lot of knowledge. Believe that. But with even more life, that knowledge turns into wisdom. Mm. Experience is the bridge from knowledge to wisdom. And um, we have a, a predicament here. I want you to pull up this, this video. Oh, is that why you were secretly tapping me right now? Sorry, I didn't secret. get the I didn't get the fucking I didn't get the thing. <laughs> you drinking too much rose rum, dude. Um, listen, no, no, no. Hold there, on, just hold there, on a sec. There's um, there's a problem. There's a problem. You come home to a problem. It's too easy. Like this we woman, fix all problems. we want you. We want you to give some advice on it's what you easy. would do in this situation. It's too easy. Can you can you hear this though? Play it. I'm sorry. I just uh, we can cut around this. No, we, we're not gonna cut around it. Oh, my driveway's gone. 
1838 Bethesda Street is now a patch of dirt that she didn't ask for. Someone took her driveway as she was trying to get ready for Christmas. Of all the things, her driveway as she was trying to get ready for Christmas. Of all the things that you worry about getting stolen. What's the problem? You got no driveway. Driveway stolen, getting ready for Christmas. It's gone. What's, what's the problem? Got no driveway. The driveway's gone. You 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 want to drive home and you you want to park your Aventador, right? Pat, no, just pull up, just pull up to the door. <laughs> it's the grass. It's a fucking uneven you surface. Never, you never been drunk and pulled up to the the grass? Leave it on the street. Fuck it. <laughs> it's a Aventador. You got no driveway. Leave it on the street. <laughs> How dare you write a fucking ticket and leave it on my Lamborghini? Don't you ever disrespect the brand. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How do you? What about finding the people that took your driveway? Yeah. Like, you ever address the problem? Your driveway's gone, man. It might have been time for a new driveway. Yo, okay. <laughs> yes. okay. it's too easy. It you might is want too the driveway easy. with the fake grass that's splitting in between it. Yeah. 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 Or turn the whole fucking driveway slant. <laughs> Upside down. Why not? Who gives a shit? Damn. We like driveways. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Sometimes life hits you with with problems you don't even expect. Sometimes it does. You know? I feel like being in LA, it's only a matter of time before my driveway gets stolen. I feel 100%, like it's gonna happen. 100%. You ever go to that there, Los Angeles? I go out there sometimes. It's wild west out there. You ever use bear traps? Of course not. You drink coffee in the morning? I drink uh, Dolce and Gabbana, which is uh, what's that we have? Don't say they leave Don't say they leave Don't say they leave Jay. My girl's Cuban, bro. She's cracking up, bro. Yeah. Don't say they leave Jay's fire. Don't say they leave Jay's fire. into a fashion If you brand. ever go to the Sky Coffee spot, the airplane looking coffee spot on Brickle. Oh, Just baby. say say Rose sent you. They're gonna give she, you the Dolce and Gabbana. She lives in Brickell. How do you not know about this place? You're supposed to be a Dolce de Leche expert. Yeah, you gotta know about the Sky Coffee spot. You do make your Cubans are real passionate about Dolce That's de dope. Leche. That's dope. Rick, the other day, the other day, uh uh I I caught my fiance, who's sitting somewhere over here. She, she's over there in mm -hmm. the green. I, I caught her singing uh Kendrick Lamar's song, Humble. She was going like this. Don't give me that look. <laughs> she was going like this. Me more. Sit down. Me more. Sit down. And I said, yo. What? Stop. What? 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 Fuck are you I saying? Say, yeah. why, was, why was she saying? goes, me more. Sit down. I said, the lyric is be humble. And I showed her 100 black coffins today. And he said, so he's got a bad cough? <laughs> and I, I She's Danish. With all, all due respect, she doesn't though, she speak said, English. So, so, no, she speaks English well, but sometimes hearing English words, specifically in music, is, is hard for her to interpret. Is there ever any time where people just don't don't understand your rap lyrics at all, or come up to you like, "Yo, I love, I love what you were saying," or, or, and they have it completely wrong, and you have to be like, "Yeah, man." Um, if they do, they usually keep it to themselves. Yeah, yeah. Usually, <laughs> and, and I'm and me being where I've traveled to places where. No one speaks English, but they will rap my lyrics yeah. in English as soon as the song is over, they clip all that shit yeah. off right there. <laughs> Man, I've seen that. I've witnessed that. Yeah. I'm getting great the, audiences. I'm getting the there. Sorry. She's, Who? Oh, she's pissed. She's Danish. Yo, I saw you on a Oh, you uh, see you keep saying that. What's that? Danish. She's, uh, she's Danish. from Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. So okay. so she she moved uh, actually here to Miami at eighteen okay. and she didn't speak any English. They had to learn English. And uh, she unlearned her accent, but occasionally she's very smart. But occasionally, some some words will slip out that I, you know, you know. She once one time she told me that John Cena was invincible. I said, no, John Cena is invisible. Oh, but that that's could happen to anybody. <laughs> that could happen to anybody. Yeah, a lot of people make those mistakes. Sometimes that's not just being a Danish. But how would you how would you deal with your wife if she was a bigger fan of John Cena than let's say yours? How I'm, a, I'm a that? bigger fan of John Cena than me. Okay. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We, dude, we all have we all have people we like. Like I don't, I don't. I, I just don't. like to do that. <laughs> hey, Rick, got your back. Dude. <laughs> yeah. uh, Yo, I saw you on a stream uh, the other day with a, with my little brother Aiden Ross, 
And uh, I want to ask you your, your thoughts about the streaming culture and how it contributes to hip hop right now. But I also want to ask you if you bought his uh, his rolls off him. No, I didn't. You didn't buy it? No. I already had the color in. Yeah. I had the new joint with the, it's called the Saint Charles Saint, some shit like that. So Aiden's is, the, tra Aiden's is trash, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. His shit is really dope. Yeah, yeah. His shit is really dope. And when I double back around, if he still got it in a month or two, you never know. He will. He got it at that. It's sitting at the warehouse. It was dope though. That interior dope. What'd you What'd you think about uh, working with with Aiden? He cool. Cool. Every time we ever came across each other, spoke. He cool. So when it come to cool motherfuckers being a part of the culture, that's always a plus. That's always a plus. Cause that streaming is a <clears throat> a, a contributor right now. There's a lot. You know, Drake. It's It's cool, man. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. As long as it's pushing the culture. And it's coming from different angles. That's always some dope shit. Do you know who Do you know who Kai Sanat is by any yeah, chance? I you do. do. Yeah. Have you done anything with him? We done most definitely spoke certain times. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's yeah. he's kind of he doing he's his thing. It. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah, because it's. Do you ever consider or did you did you do anything with Aiden to push it, like uh, to promote anything or like? Not necessarily. Right. Right. You know, I'm still a, a old school hustler where. If I come across them, it'll just be on some genuine shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then we come across them, we'll rep too good to be true shit like that. But on the week of, Breon was telling me all the all of your little homies' names. Hey, let's get them on the phone. And really, we got on the phone with everybody, said what's up, but it wasn't like no real link up shit. We'll holler. Ain't no yeah, rush. Yeah, Breon's locked in, bro. Yeah, he yeah, pays, yeah. He pays attention to all the, the socials because you can't ignore it anymore. I think there was a while where people were like, oh, I'm traditional. Like, I'm not going to do that stuff. But it's gotten too big. It's gotten to a point where you can't you can't ignore social media anymore. I think you should just watch everything that's 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 a vibe. Regardless of how many streams it get, if this shit a vibe, it's a vibe. You know what I mean? Because nine times out of ten, if it got a vibe, it'll be popping if it's next year, five years later anyway. Are you ever watching stuff? Personally? I do, yeah. Uh, streaming, Netflix. Not, yeah, Netflix all the time. Yeah. We just, uh, what they call it when you watch the whole season in binge, one day. Binge, you binge. Yeah. What, what show? Binge watch. Um, you binge. Griselda. Oh, yeah, yeah. New shit. We just binge Griselda every episode. And now I'm just thinking if anybody from Netflix watching, I saw after the last episode, you gave the details of, what year she died and all that, but that don't mean the shit over with. <laughs> Season two, not show us when she got back to Medellin after being released. Let's run it again. Ricky it Ross wants more. He yeah, wants more. Want more. Oh, I didn't even, dude. I feel dumb. I didn't even know it's about Griselda Blanco. Facts. Fuck. I didn't even. I didn't even. I just saw the Come name. On, I man. just saw the name showing up a lot. I didn't know if it was just someone's grandma. Nah, or that's shit. Griselda Blanco. The, the godmother. This shit dope too. What about Biggest you? Ever? Personally, on social media, you scrolling Instagram, tic I do TikTok, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's how you know about these young streamers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without a doubt, sharp. That that's definitely, I think, important to stay it's at least like, knowledgeable about what's I, going on. I mean, on. everybody don't got to do everything, but if you fuck with it, you fuck with it. If you love it, you love it. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Since I was a youngster, the whole culture, you know, um, it, it's just something I love. The sneakers I love. Mm. The, the flannels, whatever it is, I love it. I want to see it. And not only do I want to see it, I want to see it first. And not only do I want to see it first, I want to buy it. Mm. And not only buy it, I want to buy it first. Yeah. <laughs> Let's find who can get it to us first. And that's what these platforms are really for. To really stay tapped in. Yeah. Ahead, yeah. stay ahead. Are you tapped in with the new rappers do you, do you stay up to date with what hip-hop is doing nowadays and how do you feel about the state of hip-hop right now man i just love to see hustlers hustle and it's like it's almost like when i make an opinion of a young nigga i put myself in that same predicament so maybe i'm a little i show may, maybe a little more love to young niggas than maybe somebody else would because it took me 15 years before i got a reaction for one of my records mm -hmm. When 10 years before that, I was writing records for others and I'd be in the club and they was fucking with it. I was like, damn. Yeah, you know the struggle. Yeah. You've been there. I know, I, let's keep going. For sure. They love our pen. Now they just got to get the whole vision of what we bring into the table.
Do you fuck with uh, any other floor? Do you like Kodak? Are you friends with Kodak and shit? That's the homie, without yeah. a doubt. Yeah. He was in the Super Bowl with me last year. Yeah, that's true. Without a doubt. You going this year? Um, I'm not sure. What we got? Chief, may not. Chiefs 49ers? Chiefs 49ers. You Who you, you got? I got to go with Chiefs. I'm going, Patrick I'm a, Mahomes is yeah, a prime athlete. Yeah. I'm going to go with Mahomes. Fuck you think, uh, you think uh, I saw a tweet today that said someone said the NFL was rigged. How perfect it was with Taylor and Travis and the Chiefs having all the success right after the fact. You think any anything's going on inside there? You think, Do I uh, think it's rigged? I don't think it's rigged. Is it big business? Of course it's big yeah, business. Yeah, it's huge. Of course. I mean, you got to realize it come down to getting money. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some money. I'm not gonna say too much because I I look forward to being the owner one day. Yeah, for sure. Hey, same, same. I don't th I don't think it's rigged by any means, but it is just like some some stories are so perfectly told, and I think this is definitely one year, especially with <laughs> T Swift's involvement. Yeah, what do you I think about Taylor Swift? Do you think she? Some people said she's a psyop, like she was, oh she's God. a plant. She's a plant, bro. What? She's been put oh there God. by that's that Illuminati. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that sad. once again, Mr. Ross, this is it's not sad. me saying. This. I would never claim such a thing. I could tell from I could tell you from an that's inside the homie source. Girl, she had the she had the game. Yeah. Do you think so? They can't help if she sold a hundred million records. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I can she tell you. She gotta date somebody. <laughs> True. She. True. She needs some inspo. They think it's a conspiracy. <laughs> Oh my they god. They think everything's yeah. a conspiracy, right? Nah, it's crazy. Niggas is crazy. They're, uh, they're they're apparently really in love, Mike. Yeah? Yeah, it's legit. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's very cool. I wish she was performing at the halftime show. That would have that would have been crazy. It's just that would then it would seem like it was a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? Like what you were just talking about with like what the would rigging be too and much? This, I don't know. If, like, if, she, if Taylor Swift was dating should. Travis Kelsey. And also performed at the halftime show. And they were in the Super Bowl. He's, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. She like, should. She should. She should. She should perform at the Super Bowl too. Who is performing now? Usher. Should uh, sure. He should hit Roger Goodell right now. Yo, yeah. Roger. Yeah, yeah, yo, 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 kick Usher this out. Big. Let me let no, me let get this. Usher shine, but it's my girl. That's what I do for Christina. Or oh, oh. matter of fact, y'all check her new app out, Christina Mackey. What's up? What's you know the, what the app? Yeah, you already know. What's hit the up, app? Hit up page right now. What's the app, love? Back Yeah. Is it fitness app? Fitness. Oh, nice. We may Sick. need you on there. Nah, you know I Come on, fitness, man. Bro. I'll be doing sit-ups. Come on, man. It's, it's about staying fit. I was told you have 200 cars. Yeah. My guy who keep up with my cars told me that, too. <laughs> <laughs> what's your, fa that's what's that's your so favorite one? Cars. <laughs> <laughs> that's so many cars. <laughs> hey, don't choke back there. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite car? Um, if we talking old school, I'm gonna say my 57. My 57. My 57 Chevy. I'm gonna say that, you know what I mean? And not just because I got the, the most in it and I got 15 versions of that same, you know, the 57, them trays, 55, 56, 57s. Where do you put 200 cars? I mean, you actually got to spread them out over several states. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we got a few cribs over a few states. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. yeah it's true. This shit is real. I heard you have two cribs in Miami. Two. Is that true? Shit, I got <laughs> four in Davy alone. What you no mean? No way. Like, yeah, yeah, no, nah, it's different. How do you keep track of just the keys even? No, nah, it's, it's different. It's different. That's what the empire about. That's good. the family, the team, the homies. You got a, a key watcher, something like that. You could call him that. You went from keys to keys. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Nigel know. <laughs> hey, hey! Big shout out to Nikki and Mike Simpkins. You know why? We're at their house. We're at their house, and they own Eleven Vodka and Eleven. The Eleven nightclub is one of my favorite places. Shout out to the Simpkins. You have kids? Forgive me. I should know this. I do. I got beautiful kids. How many? Oh man, a beautiful. I'm not done yet. Let's go. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna play like that. No, no, no. She's like Rick the fitness app. No, nah, that's that, that's that's you know that's that's something that I keep very private. But that's uh, that's really like some I'm most proud of. For sure. Yeah, because I, I you know it's sometimes that you really just got to think in the future. What's gonna mean the most? You know, we I know what they mean to me right now, but I'm just talking about when you get older. 
after all the success, after everywhere you've been, everything you've accomplished, when you just sit back and look at, you know, what's around you and it's really close to you and it mean a lot, I think that's gonna be my my best investment ever, my family. I'm not sure there's a better source of fulfillment than seeing the people you brought into this world succeed and, do, and be happy and do it. Without they want. a doubt. Now imagine now imagine that when they when they infants and when they're actually, you know, achieving and accomplishing and carrying on that flag. Yeah. You know, it's something about that flag to me. Are you the type of parent that will let them do and encourage them to do whatever they want to do? Or is there, do you have, do you have your own particular, like, ah, I'd like if, you know, my kid was- I most a, definitely have my opinion yeah. and I'm gonna share that. But I believe what they want to do is much more important than what I want to do. And that's, and I get that from my mother because I was a, a star athlete in high school, got a scholarship. My mind wasn't on that. It was on getting money. What sport? Football. What position? You center. No fucking way. All day, baby. Yo, you, you know, you, Dade in Texas. Snap? Florida, is, of course. Sick. Florida and Texas, number one spots for athletes football. And yeah, I was, yeah. I was ranked number one center at the time. So I got a scholarship that I actually walked away from in not even three months. Soon as I got there, I knew this wasn't what my heart was. Mm. So you're one of those dudes that just like you got to follow your heart. Yeah, you do. But when you told your parents like I'm, I'm I don't want to do college. I don't. I'm. I want to pursue music. Was there any pushback? It wasn't even that I want to pursue music. It was just what I knew for sure was this not for me. Uh, uh. I love Albany State. I love the opportunity. You know how much I love football, but this not for me. And you know, she just, my mom just gave me that look like, well, you know best, you know what's best for you. And I'm gonna trust you with that. And I said, shit, I got you, let's go. That's a powerful parenting technique. Very powerful. I think a lot of parents have a t tough time letting go of that control. Helicopter parents. Yeah. And I'm gonna be honest, that's just my opinion as a parent. Don't fight. Don't fight your child in where they heart taking them. You will never win that fight. Well, you won't win that race. That's something like, I think when you bring a person into this world, even though they may be a part of you, they're their own individual. Oh, without you a know? doubt. Like who without knows, a, yeah, who knows what yeah, they're gonna be yeah, into. Be like, you gotta Regardless let of what plans you may have or what you may wanna see, that's cool, that's beautiful, I'm sure. But you still gotta let them follow their heart. Yeah, fast. And nine times out of 10, it'd be better off if they did. Yeah. Do you follow all this? This is, forget it, it's a shit transition. We're talking about parenting and just fucking, I was gonna ask you about fucking Nicki Minaj and fucking Megan Thee Stallion. What about it? You pay attention to the rap beef? I mean, it, of course it come across my page, you know what I mean? Nicki dropped a response last night, I think it was last night, called Bigfoot. Do you think that you could go too far in rap beef or you think it's all fair? I really don't think you could go too far. I think, you know, um, you know, this is a sport, it's hip hop, you know what I mean? And it's about having that, that fun, I call it fun. You know what I mean? Megan got off her record, I'm believing, you know, if I'm wrong, let me know. She got off her joint, Yep. you know, Nikki, yep. being the queen she is in the rap game, she responded, got off her record, and that's what you are supposed to do. Shit, do you think uh, bringing dead parents into it is questionable too far? You know, I haven't heard anything yeah, about Nikki, dead Nikki parents. Yeah, Nikki keeps bringing up Megan's dead mom on it. Like a Which, lot. Is she, like she about 15 times. She disrespecting her dead mother? Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. Well, you know, I haven't heard it. Mm. You know, I haven't well, it heard dropped. it. Well, it just dropped. That's not your... I haven't heard it. It just you know, dropped I, like last I've night. Done, I've, done, I've done things, too, you know, when I'm doing my thing, too. When I'm at odds and I'm making my music, I've done things and said things too. Yeah. So sometimes it's fuck them. The one, the one beef related question I have is is on Jay and Nas because this is, I just want to ask you this: who, who won that beef? Like lyrically, obviously we know who won it from a business standpoint, and that's not to knock Nas because he's done very well for himself as well. Who won it from a business standpoint? I would assume Jay. Why is not? I mean, Nas has made some incredible investments. Some incredible investments. Actually, it's a good. That's a 
really good see, fucking and, question. And, and to me, hip hop, that's what I do love about hip hop because it always go back to how much money a nigga got. Isn't that crazy? I love that. Yeah. You, you, you a great example. <laughs> no, you a great example. Yeah, you see that? And I'm glad I'm the nigga that was sitting here. Everybody that's clap up, clap up. Yo, no, nah, hell. Up. Nah. Because nah. that's what it come back to. How much money a nigga got. If you did all that rapping and all that capping, nigga, and they ain't got nothing to show for it. They don't fuck with you. Oh, so, man. And, and you, and that right, wasn't the shit that, I was of course even that was. asking about, of course bro. I was, was asking all different rappers, but, bro. But, uh, I'm going to be honest. Me, me being a fan of, of Nas and Hov, I felt like they both handled their business. You know what I mean? Because they both shot back. Yeah. And to me, that's what it's about because a lot of times niggas will tap out. They both shot back and they both kept going. There was a couple, it was like what you had takeover leads it, then ether dropped. But that was everybody's opinion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was niggas' opinion. It was it was it was it was it was battles that I've seen and my opinion was different from the masses. Just because the way it was done. And that's just like Nikki. If if let's say if you didn't like the Nikki record, it was the fact she released the record. X amount of hours later. Fast. You understand? Do you think that that's a, a requirement for- That's a flex. Yeah. And that that's coming from a writer. Mm -hmm. And I'm a writer that's written for others in battles. Mm -hmm. So that's a flex. And you know, I haven't heard everything, but I'm just letting you know, when you do that, you most definitely letting them know I'm on my A game. Do you like, do you like the idea of uh, squashing beefs? I've I've squashed several beefs in the game. Yeah. In the rap game. I've squashed several beefs between others. Other people. Do I necessarily squash beefs? Not necessarily because I don't have to. I'm the biggest. Makes sense. They would love to squash the beefs with Rose. You have beef? Do I? I mean, you gotta ask yourself, do I? The top down every day, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some more bamboo, please? Yo, yo, I'm about to go mow a lawn. <laughs> Why not, man? You ever chop wood? Of course. But no bear traps. I've chopped down trees, no bear traps. <laughs> That's surprising. I'm not fucking man. with a bear. I love animals. You do. That's I love right. animals. That's right. You, you I have love any? animals. I have I have several animals. I have a lot of animals. Any exotic ones or it's typical like dog cat? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna say exotic. Let's say NBA Young Boy came to my my home with Meek Mill a few years ago. He left like a I, I don't want to say specifically, but we just gonna say a tiger to my house and I kept it long as, you know, I could afford someone to pay to feed him. It got to a point where they didn't want to. They didn't even want to feed the tiger. So, so the tiger fed on them. Yeah, the tiger. I had to guy. You know, get rid of it. That sucks, man. You know, tigers are notorious for having ringworm. Did you get ringworm? I didn't. <laughs> I, I was and I play. I play with it a lot. I, I I pet a baby tiger as well. Once gave me ringworm. Ugh. Ringworm was. It, how was it? Yeah. How would you? The ringworm was. Do you, do you enjoy it? Was not? it? How long did you have it? A while, dude. Don't you always have it? Because oh, I'm a wrestler as well. So oh, like, so you get ringworm from the other well, wrestlers? I, 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 uh, yeah, in high school specifically, like every high school wrestler at some point, if you're actually doing it for a long time, you'll get ringworm. So then I was cleared for a while, ran into this baby tiger, and you know you, you can't have them as pets. I got in trouble. Like the, what's the animal? The I'm animal sure. people I'm sure. came to my house? I'm sure. Animal protection. I started hearing things about the people were going to come to see me soon. Got to so. get rid of that tiger. Yeah. Not not, I, ex not exotic, but you know, you got to, like, I'm sure you have a chameleon. We got a few things. Yeah. Dogs. We love dogs. I feel like, I feel like people don't deserve dogs. Like, so I, I will sometimes be petting my dog and just this, this thing has just so much love to give. It's just only, only like good. Dogs are beautiful, Just man. They're so beautiful. Dogs are beautiful. Someone should pet a dog today. Pet a yeah, 100%. dog. hundred percent. I did already today. I did. That's My girlfriend a got a you know, French bulldog. What about cat? What about cats or like uh, kittens? Nah. Cats. I'm not as much a cat lover. Dude, those things are fucking weird, bro. Thank you. They're Thank fucking weird. Again. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> hey, don't take that person. Oh, no, 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 but, don't but, take that person. On the other hand, if what kind you, of cat you want? enjoy them. A little, a little kitten, yeah. You know what's funny yeah. about the difference between cats and dogs? 
you can you can like dogs and that's okay. You can like cats and that's okay. You can dislike cats and that's okay. But if you dislike dogs, you you ain't even a human. Like you're not even a real like there's something wrong with you. I don't know. I just never really like got along with cats very well. They don't listen. They do what they you know, want. I don't talk bad about cats. I don't. Now, I if don't. You, if you, you ever get, been clawed by one? Never. 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 You ever sustain any serious injuries? Maybe from a bear trap? Of course not. <laughs> not from a bear trap. Have I ever had broken bones? No bro broken bones? Yeah, I had a few broken bones. I, I would rather not disclose, but my shoulder. My hip, you know what I mean? A few broken, you know what I mean? But regardless. But we bounced back. Yeah, biggest. you're in it. You're in it still. Too easy. Let's go. Do you, wor do you ever worry about not being able to bounce back? Like in terms of like, it, like, are you doing anything to extend your age? Have you thought about cryogenically freezing yourself? I actually did. I actually did. My girlfriend, Christina Mackey. She got a nap, don't she? She has a nap. She uh, <laughs> criticized me for maybe a week straight, talking about my swishy sweet great blunts, mm. saying how I need to smoke papers. And guess what, guys? Let's go. It's the first time I ever announced it. I am now an official joint smoker. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Whoa, Wiz Khalifa yeah, somewhere. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, no swishes, nicotine. No swishes. None. Great. No swishes. Great. That's amazing. You're, you're a great influence. But he's not. He, you, you're not catching him putting any tobacco in the J. You're not catching him putting any tobacco in there with it. Oh, you're rolling them for him? Yeah, she rolled them for me too. So Damn. Time for Damn. <laughs> yeah, Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa will be real happy to hear that, bro. That dude just. He's the same way. He just smokes Jays. Yeah. So you would consider being cryogenically frozen or no? Because you could do that. <laughs> well, you, so as you know, there's been and continues to be a lot of advances in science, right? People are living longer and longer. Okay. So what if I told you that you could uh, be cryogenically frozen and if there was an advance that could maybe, maybe say make, you know, forever rose forever live forever like for real right, right. that that could be done you'd just be unfrozen and you'd be given whatever enzymes would you consider freezing yourself at a later age or even uh, now do you want to freeze yourself today we could probably connect uh, you with just that. the first thing came off my head was you're a liar <laughs> Uh, I, I don't swear to you, you, Mr. Ross. I swear, I swear to God, and dude. The, the question I would ask myself is, do I, would I want to be here forever? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fly dude. I'm like fashion, you know what I'm saying? Limited edition. Yeah, I might have my season and may want to <laughs> tap out on these lanes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's really up to me. I haven't decided that yet. <laughs> but that's really a serious question for everybody watching this. Would you want to be here forever, every day? I'm gonna be honest. Um, let's come back to that on another episode. Yeah, it seems that seems like a lot. That's a real one. Well, every day. Well, I bet a lot of people they would want to be here longer so every that they day? can create a legacy for themselves. And since you already have a legacy, you're probably cool just being like, "Oh, I'm gonna live forever, anyways." Like, think about it. Like, hustling mm -hmm. is gonna live forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, regardless of if if your mortal body's here and, or not. And, and we just got the key to the city and our, our lyrics just got added to the to Congress. But if I removed all of that forever, I don't know. You may want to rest one day. You know what I'm saying? Where do know. How do you do that? How would you want to be buried? Because you know you can get buried inside a tree. Uh, the roots of a tree, and you can actually grow into a tree, a Rick Ross tree. Oh. They'll put you like in the seed. Like, like what kind of tree? It could be Anything. the tree for. It could be. It could be. It has to be. It has to be. It could be a coke. It could be a coca plant, and someone tree. could sniff Rick Ross in the future. Oh man, you could snort the ball. Nah, I wouldn't recommend that because I. <laughs> I'm a it's gotta be. A, I'm sorry, Rick. It has to be a pear tree. I'm sorry. It has to be a pear tree or pineapple. Hey yo, dice pineapples. Oh uh, man, but um, um, I don't know, man. Forever, I don't know. Rose yeah. may not be forever. 
Right. So for everybody, you better appreciate me now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks. Rick, Rick we'll, we'll, we'll end on that. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thanks for putting up a, with my ridiculous bear trap questions, man. <laughs> no, it's too easy, man. But do you eat bear? I've never eaten bear. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll venture. I'll venture. I'll eat some. I'll eat like like alligator and, and elk. Would you eat whale? I would eat whale. Okay. I'd eat whale. You know how there's some things that, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know what's going on. Or man. a rattlesnake. Yeah, ra I'll, I would Grill. eat rattlesnake. We've ate rattlesnake. Lemon pepper rattlesnake. <laughs> oh, shit. At, only available at Wingstop right now. <laughs> Limited edition lemon pepper <laughs> rattlesnake. Dude, dude, this has been great. Rick, thanks for joining us. It's too us, easy, man. man. Much love, man. So good. Hey, pay attention to Rick Ross, man. He gonna be around forever unless he decides not to. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode of Impulsive. We will see you next time. Take it easy. Peace. <laughs>